I've got to offer you two apologies here. Number one, a little bit more gameplay has occurred. OBS started recording and then crashed about five minutes into an episode. So now we've lost about on five minutes of gameplay. Normal RimWorld circumstances, I'd reload, but obviously we're on commitment mode right now. So I've just got to try and catch you up with their history tab and things like that. A little bit annoying. I apologize massively. Second thing I've got to apologize for as well. I'm going to be a little slow reading comments and on implementing your suggestions. My parents are coming to visit from the other side of the country. So I'm going to be with them for a couple of days uh, around town. So unfortunately, I'm not going to have so much time to dedicate to episodes or reading comments. But after that, I will make sure I catch up on everything and uh, apply fixes. My God. Okay. So first things first then. Thanks, OBS. Let's see. What do we get? Um, right. So messages starting from what? Roughly here. Okay. So... We had a transport zone, a transport zone, transport drone, nope, psychic drone, transport pod was yesterday. We had a psychic drone that obviously kicked in there. Nothing really to worry about. Female, low, not a big deal. She seems fairly happy. Anyway, we had a bulk goods trader. I sold them all of the random leather we got and they left us 123, but because we started building up rapport with them, they've also apparently left five medicine somewhere, um, somewhere on this map. So we'll have to find that in a second. I imagine it's just, you know, outside kicking around. This was the important one. I'm so annoyed that this wasn't in the episode. New lovers. Jilp tried to attract Lucas by drawing attention to his own plant growing skills. Lucas responded well and is now Jilp's lover. This is 10 out of 10. This means that we have to only build one bedroom. We have to only build one bathroom. We can... Uh, obviously, they get the mood bonuses. We've been in a relationship and loving and all that crap. This is great. This is actually a 10 out of 10. And, and you know, just having them friendly with one another. When they break up, it's going to be horrible. Because they will. It's RimWorld. Of course they will. That's going to be horrible and messy. Because there are only two colonists. So that's going to be a bit of a state. But besides that, this is huge. This is actually really, really big. Um, in fact, we can see the social tab. What, what left, led up to that? Uh, Lucas told a joke about animals 11 hours ago. And then he said, by the way, I'm really good. At, I've got some serious... Wood growing back home. I don't know what he'd say, okay? Uh, a couple of hours ago, that one worked. And they chat about blacksmiths and uh, beets. I assume, like, you know, uh, beets, beetroot. Lucas Holbache is now a lover of uh, Jilp Vondel there. I was going to call him Jilp Bush. That's huge. That's a 10 out of 10. Now, my plans for this episode are very simple. And I'm actually kind of glad. I, I just talked about this before, but I'm glad this has happened before I actually started doing that. Building a bathroom with plumbing things like that it only requires mostly steel and components which we have a shit ton of we also had a transport pod crash did that show in that not transport pod sorry we had um did it not say anything no it didn't we had uh whatever they're called crashing down ship chunks we had some drop down over here which we've deconstructed in fact you can just see where they landed here we had those and bought those back and deconstructed them so now we have a ridiculous amount of steel still got four four components is that it wait did she not actually put them away yet um, oh, there's still a backpack. There we go. And another 16 components in a backpack. So that's going to be very, very good um, for future building. So like I said, the bathroom, which only requires stealing components, which we have a shit ton of, not only removes the debuff and the inconvenience of them going out to latrines constantly and having to constantly wash, so it will remove that, but it also gives them mood buffs if we use, you know, heaters and, and water boilers and things like that. Because rather than, um, you know, them just getting rid of it, they'll get the bonus for having hot water or something like that. So... I'm going to test that out. I think now's a good time to build it. And again, I think it'll be much more convenient than trying to work like this. Because this is kind of a pain in the ass having them go constantly to the river and that type of thing. Okay, so I think we're all caught up now. Again, apologies that this is uh, that it's cut off. I'm, I'm going to be having strong words with the OBS staff. By which I mean, thank you for your free software for making my job possible. <laughs> I'm going to use XSplit instead and pay $49.99 a month for it. Um, that's, that's exactly a normal thing to do there. Just gonna, it's the classic Jilp Vondel tradition of playing horseshoes over his sleeping girlfriend. Incredible. 10 out of 10. Right, so what we want to do, I think, is get rid of these. Oh, maybe we should actually build the new bathroom first. It's probably not a bad plan, huh? And maybe attaching it to the bedroom as well would be a good idea. Um, how far can we build into this river before it? I mean, we could put it like, put the door there and build it into, like, parallel to the kitchen. It's not going to be very big, though, is it? It's really not going to be very big at all. Oh, God. Um... Do something like that. Again, it's not huge, but I'm trying to keep it nicely close to the river. That way, we can build um, the sewage pipe straight into it. Because the water flows up that way, uh, towards the north point of the map. So, we can put the sewage point down here. And that way, we also don't have to worry about, uh, you know, doing pop proper plumbing and that type of thing. So, I'm going to do a little bit like that. Let's put a door through there. Let's also put down um, any sort of floor. Because they get a mood bonus. I actually talked about this before, but I forgot to mention it. They get a mood bonus very similar to having a good recreation area or a good bedroom or a good kitchen or a good whatever. They will have the higher opinion of dining room, I think it is actually, rather than kitchen. They'll have a higher opinion. Oh, that's horrible. If, um, 
if their bathroom is a good quality as well. So if you put, you know, like nice metal tiles and build them a golden toilet or whatever, they will have... That's the, that's the goal. That is the goal for this series. A, oh man, I paused it perfectly on the lightning strike, huh? Um, that would be the goal for the series, obviously, is build them a golden toilet. Huh. Well, as long as it's not near us, I don't really care. The issue with flash storms is, though, they do slow the game down quite a huge amount with the amount of wildfires they spread. And our walls are built of wood. So we might have to suppress this a little bit, depending on how far it... In fact, should we... Oh, is it... Should we hit this now? Should we deal with this now before it gets out of hand? I feel like that's not a bad idea. Okay, let's start suppressing these. I'll sort of assess it depending on how long it takes me to get over there. But I'm not a big fan of this going on. Oh, God, please run. Put these fires out before it kills the game. Oh, God, the, the boomalopes. Okay. Good work, Lucas. 10 out of 10. Uh, you missed one. You absolute fool. All right, let's get rid of that one as well. Get rid of these. Okay, we should be able to control this. Again, I'm just doing this so the game doesn't run at a snail's pace as the fire sweeps across the map and burns everything we know and love. All right, let's also expand this as well. Got to remember to remove these home areas. Oh, that one actually petered out. That's pretty good. All right, we're fine. Okay, clear home area. Get rid of these. Not particularly interested. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is that? Oh, it's one of those hideous hippo creatures. Hello, hideous hippo creature. And let's also not include this as part of the home area. Um, if there is a fire, I'll obviously really expand it, but I don't want them going out there thinking that is the uh, that is the home zone. Now, I'm one thing I sort of postulated, but I'm not entirely sure if it's true, is that maybe they'll wash less if they have a if they have a um, a, sh a shower, like, like rather than washing in the river. Because I can't imagine washing in the river is going to keep you particularly clean for too long. Why are you doing this? Why do you lack just all common sense in the world, my guy? Okay, prioritize deconstructed wooden wall. He's such an idiot. This man is an absolute idiot. And then getting back on with the research so that we can actually get a little bit of power as well would be absolutely fantastic. Because this is something we're really struggling with right now is the... Even two windmills, they're so bad, they don't have enough power to manage to run a cooler. Well, two coolers and the uh, and the electric stove. Right, let's get this medicine hauled as well. Because that's leaving that outdoors is not on my list of things to do. Let's get all this rice done as well. What I'm actually going to say is uh, Jilp. Hauling urgently for you? Lower tier. We'll just let Lucas do it all. Because Jilp is our main builder, our researcher. So I'd rather him be doing things like that instead. Okay. Do we not have any more wood? Right, that's the first problem then. Let's go and get a little bit more wood so we can finish off this bathroom. And it's going to be a massive mood boost. So I'm, I'm more than happy to do this. It's a big part of the hygiene mod as well. Or the hygiene mod is a big part of this mod pack. So I think dealing with that fairly, uh, fairly early is not a bad plan. Right, go and force prioritize cutting that. Let's cut these down as soon as possible. Now, I need to give them some recreation as well. So, one thing I also did while they had the food poisoning, which we ended last episode with, so I gave them basically the whole day to do whatever they wanted, because I was forcing them to do all they, they were just continuing the, their regular schedule, and they were completely, you know, their mood was incredibly low, and they were just pretty sad about things. So, um, I've actually set them to do anything. I'm going to put them back to the schedule they were on before. Maybe something, I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling fairly generous with my schedules, just because it's, um, you know, a lot more high pressure than it normally would be. Let's do something along the lines of that. Um, and then in the morning, I'm going to give them a couple hours of anything, just in case they oversleep. In fact, we'll do something a little like that. That seems okay. That way, if they want to go to bed, you know, that's that's fine. Or they can do a little bit more work if they really feel like it. Okay. Um, let's go play some Hoopstone. Classic. I keep calling it Hoopstone. That's a tribal one, isn't it? It's, uh, what is it? Horseshoes? Yeah, Horseshoes. That classic RimWorld game of Horseshoes. I should put a chess table or something, so it actually counts as a separate type of play. Nice. She's sleeping with her eyes open. That's not creepy at all. Nice. The windmills have kicked back in, so our food isn't going to immediately spoil. How long have we got left on some of these meals? Council's frozen right now, and it actually hasn't started uh, disappearing. Ah, the classic. The Jilp Vondel Delicacy. Berries, rice, and fish and mouse meat. Mm -mm, my favorite. Some tasty fish and mouse. What about these ones? They're also pretty good. They're just rice, though. Nice. Okay. Oh, we've got the first harvest of corn as well. How long does that last? Normally, it lasts... I, I think it's months and months, isn't it? Corn in the base game. So, uh, oh, look at their moods. Look at their moods. This is a, a 10 out of 10 scenario right now. They're almost both as happy as they could be. I'm very... Obviously, you know, as that initial optimism wears off, we're going to need to start getting some more of these little buffs, like bathrooms, like I said. All right, so let's increase the uh, cleaning zone to include the bathroom. I imagine they're not the particularly cleanest of places. All right, there we go. I say I imagine that as if I've never lived in a house with a bathroom before. All right, and then we want to go hygiene. First things first, then let's get the sewage outlet. Basically as far away from the base as possible. So I'm going to put it there. Um, and let's also go with... Toilet. St out of steel and wood. A wooden toilet sounds like the worst thing I've ever heard in my whole life. Let's go... Oh my god, golden toilet. It's only 150 gold. We do have that golden golden meteorite. Am I actually going to do this? This is decadence of the highest level. Let's do it. Lucas, you've got a job, my friend. If you choose to accept it, it's to go and uh, get us enough wood to build ourselves a golden toilet. This is <laughs> this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. 
They're, they're like really early into the base game and we're, we're doing this crap. Okay, fine. Literally. Right, let's mine some gold ore. Um, you might as well get yourself a fair amount. Is she immediately going to just mine one and then piss off? Oh, she's going to harvest corn plant. No, you know what? I want I want gold. I'm sorry. The corn can wait. The gold is far more important. Let's, let's mine a fair amount of this stuff and then head back. So how much was it? 150? It's got 30, 60, 90. Okay, so we only need, in theory, like two more. Unless we get seriously unlucky. Okay, we did get seriously unlucky. So mine that one, then we'll mine that one and haul it all back. I think she should be able to manage that because she's got the backpack to give her the extra hauling space as well. And then haul urgently. Okay, haul, haul urgently. And she's going to the river. She's going to go past the major river on the way home anyway. So I'm just going to have her haul it all. This is awesome. The golden toilet for Jilp and Lucas. My, the power couple. I, sh I ship Jilp and Lucas. And I'm glad, you know. I'm glad I thought that that was worth waiting for because it's clearly paid off here. All right, it's going to go get a nice drink from the river again, as you would. Research is going really, really well. We'll definitely have the watermill generated by the end of this episode, and that's going to be huge. I'm not a big fan that we've just got these fecal sludge sheds kicking around. Okay, um, do we want to light in the bathroom? I mean, ideally, but we barely have enough power for anything right now because these wind turbines, they're just terrible. Like, why are they so bad? I've never seen wind turbines this bad. Is it because of the mountains? I don't think it is. From from what I've seen is, is that they're just as effective as the area that they're in. Like, being surrounded by mountains, to my knowledge, doesn't affect it at all. Oh my god, we've got more? That one's actually fairly close as well. Right, Lucas, you're on it. Head over. Thank you, Randy. Randy is being incredibly generous, probably because he fucked me over the past two series. He did also send a heatwave this time, so this is maybe a gift for surviving. Alright, let's see what we've got. More components, thank god, just what I wanted. Alright, let's get these con deconstructed. Hello, Ground Runner. Are you friendly? Uh, what are they? Vegetables, raw meat. Okay, let's be careful. Ground runner hunting Lucas, and then, you know, she dies, Jump goes into a mental breakdown, and then that's the end of the campaign. I see something like that's going to happen, isn't it? Okay, good amount of silver. A little bit of, uh, like, like I said, some of these ship chunks, it gives a fair amount of silver, but obviously very, very little steel by comparison. Four components is pretty good as well, though. And I, like I said, that this doesn't make it more frequent. We're just getting very, very lucky with what Randy is doing to gift us. Now, that one gave a lot of steel. My god. Okay, let's haul that, and let's haul the silver as well. This is nuts. This is crazy. This is so good. I actually can't believe some of the luck that we've got with this. All right. Is the gold in the is the gold in the base? We want to save it up for a multi analyzer, no matter what. Now I don't actually remember how much a multi analyzer is to build in terms of resources. I think it's 25 gold, but I'm actually going to do something I don't normally do in Google at mid episode just to make sure because it would be fucking terrible if I waste all of our gold on the golden toilet and then we actually can't you know research the more advanced stuff. All right. Let's go for uh, multi. Analyzer Rimworld. I'm almost certain it's 25. Um, it's like 50 plus steel, 25 gold. It's 20 gold, 50 plus steel, 100 steel. Right, okay, so we need 20 gold spare as long as we've got that. So we need 170 gold overall. If we've got that, oh, we do. Oh, we've got a little bit more as well. We can actually build the golden toilet. What a waste. What a decadent waste, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Um, okay, so we'll put the toilet there. And then for bathtub, definitely bathtub. I'm not going to build a golden bathtub. I think that might be ridiculous. How much is it? Um, 300 gold. You are a madman. Silver bathtub. Um, and that's basically it. That's all we need, right? Unless we build a shower. I imagine a shower is faster than the bath, but I actually don't know to what extent you would want one rather than the other. I mean, how much longer could it take, really? Hot water tank we definitely need. Runs off electricity, boils water, right? Or is that... No, no, we need an electric boiler as well. So put both of those in the bathroom. Seeing as that's, you know, sort of the place you'd expect it to be. Okay, so that will boil water. Store it in the tank. This tank feeds the bath. Then we also need plumbing, which I'm going to build out of preferably not wood. Who the hell builds wooden plumbing, my guy? Okay, we're going to build wooden plumbing all along here. And then also feeding up to here. Then we also need a form of, of getting water in the first place, don't we? So... How do, we, how do we want to do that? It's like an electric pump, right? So we, get, we have an electric pump. That feeds from a well. So again, I don't really know how this works. Pumps water from towels to from wells to water towers. Um, water well, right. So we put these down. Oh, that's that's actually awesome. Okay. Um, we put one of these down there. Fine. We can put another door, you know, to actually access this stuff as well. Just to make sure our water's fine. And then we also want to build a... An electric pump. So those two connect up to one another. That pumps the water. That powers the pump. I, unless it's unless it's not. I assume that's how it works, but I actually have no idea. The information doesn't really help out very much. We'll just experiment a little bit. Like I said, we've got so much deal right now. We can always set Lucas get more shit, seeing as she's a very, very good miner. We've got an absurd amount that I can actually test and see if this is how we do it. From what that's implying, 
pumps water from a well, we would also need a well. That is definitely not a well from, from the sounds of it. And especially as it also doesn't highlight the water. So that seems right to me. Then we also need a place to store the water when we've got it. So I assume that would be what? Like, um... We really need a well if we're next to a river. That doesn't seem right. I guess it pumps it from the river? I have no idea. Um, we could also build ourselves a water tower to actually store the water. 75 steel. Sure. I mean, it'll look nicer than uh, than the other one, right? We'll put that, I don't know, down the back here. It's going to be kind of difficult to get to half of this stuff in hindsight. Um, I don't want to build it too close to this. The, the sewage outlet, obviously. Um, put it down here. 48 wood to build a wood bridge. Kind of sucks, but okay. Um, we can put it there. It's just not very convenient, is it? Well, no, I also want to be able to get to these. <laughs> this, this sucks. What am I doing? What am I doing? All right, let's not worry about it. We'll get these done to start off with. Um, let's put you... Oh, man, in saying that, we also want a, a sink, don't we? We'll put it here. It's a water well. It's fairly important. I also don't mind putting it in a place that's a little bit out of the way. Because like I said, we've got so much steel. We can afford to move it over. Right, let's get rid of these latrines as well as soon as possible. Not sure what we're going to do with the fecal sludge. That's not really something... I, I wasn't really planning on dealing with fecal sludge today, I'm going to be honest. Okay, so water tower. We've got more than enough steel for all of this, which is quite nice. That's why I wanted you to build the door. Why are you such an idiot? You actually make me so angry with your your just backwards ways of doing things. He's just a madman. All right, and then we also want to put down a door there. Space already occupied. Uh, we'll see about that, my friend. All right, there we go. That's looking pretty good. Now we're going to need a little bit more wood. Have we got any on this side of the map? Um, and then cutting stone bricks, I think, is also going to be something very important to do as well. Uh, please, anything? Any Anything? Oh, we've got one tree left. Lucas, uh, she's unloading... Okay, so when she's done that, we'll pri prioritize cutting that down. Just so we can finish off this wall. Water tower is done. Nice, okay. So, water tower, I assume we can connect all this up without any side effects? I don't. I hope that it doesn't pump the sewage straight into the water tower. Again, I don't really know how this works. So, this is going to be a, an interesting experiment. Let's put it that way. Okay, this thing is requires quite a lot of work. It is a well, so I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. Then we need a bit more power as well. Luckily, the turbines are doing pretty good. Like, right at this stage they are, but getting that water wheel is really going to drive things up. The, another reason why I want to sort of keep this area clear is so that we can maybe build water wells on this side. Um, and connect it into the grid. Or, or maybe we could build one here and one further down. Either way, we're going to be able to get water from w w water wells from the area we're in right now, so that's pretty good. Okay, that's done. Pollution level 0%, that sounds good. Um, so, okay, can't pump anything yet. I assume that's because it's not powered. How about now? We good? Oh, it actually still needs power cables. Genius. Um, right, so let's just run this straight across there and down to there. That should power that lamp and these two. This is cool. I'm actually kind of enjoying this system. I think it could be quite a fun little addition to uh, Rimworld permanently, depending on how it works. The golden toilet. The golden throne itself. <laughs> what a dumb idea. Holy shit. I, I apologize. Oh, shit. Hang on. We don't need that anymore, do we? We've got a second one now. Aurora is so good. Come on, let's get some inspirations here. Surely the mood is going to be so incredibly high. Especially working outside like this. Hey, do you actually want to finish this? I might give him a couple more hours of work just so we can get all this plumbed in today so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Right, you are on working mode, my friend. Get to it. There we go. It's only a little bit more to do anyway, so I'm, I'm just going to force him to uh, get it all finished off here. There we go. Okay, good. That requires a little bit more power. Shouldn't take too long. That requires... Oh, you know what? We actually don't have enough power. It's plumbed in, but my god, it's um quite weak, huh? It's more disease risk, untreated. Okay, right. So we'll also deal with that in a second. Still got no water to power any of it because the electric pump's off and it's, there's just not nearly enough for all of this. Okay, so for now then, turn that off. Turn that off. We're going to need the water wheel. I was kind of hoping we could scum it up, but clearly it's... Oh, God, that noise is horrible. It's running and then it's turning off immediately. Or it's, it's saving up enough power to be able to run again. This is so odd. All right, and then let's get our toilet. This is going to be big for Mood. This is going to be huge for Mood because not only is it quite a nice bathroom because of the golden toilet... But it's also going to be, you know, incredibly efficient in the way it's running. And we've got the hot water as well, which is fantastic. Nice little bonus as well. All right. Are you good? Jilp Vondel. Jilp. Seven. Jilp Vondel. Good. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get back to research, my guy. Okay, those are turned off, so that should save us a little bit of power. Why is this... Wait, what? How is that getting power? It's not finished off yet. Oh, maybe that was... Yeah, but that was definitely on for a second. It's definitely on, because it's got temperature in the boiler? <laughs> I don't know how that was happening. Okay, I thought I was going crazy there, but no, it definitely... What the fuck? We definitely got enough power in the grid. Right, we've got a grid excess of 2,827. Let's try this again. I feel like that might have just been a glitch with the mod going on there. Okay, nice. We got Have we got water coming in? 
So that is pumping. <gasps> it's pumping! Oh my god, it's actually pumping. Okay, right, 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 right. Uh, and that's storing it in the tower. The tower is filling up. Oh my god, this is awesome. Okay, and why are these not why why have these not got water? Did I did I not connect them up with water pipes? Uh it's definitely got pipes to it. Uh no, no, maybe no sewage output. Right, okay, so we need to finish off this plumbing as well. It's gonna finish off the, the kitchen first. Okay, sure, rather than actually finishing off the plumbing, that's good. So this needs to be the output, and then when this is done, that should all work. I think. I hope. I think it might just be that simple. No, do you want to finish this first, you weird man? Rather than going back indoors to clean dirt? What's wrong with you? We good? <gasps> he's he's done it. Oh, this is cool. Okay, get rid of the latrines then. We don't need those anymore. We've got an actual working bathroom, my guys. Okay, let's get rid of all this as well. I'm not too interested. What are we going to do about the fecal sludge? I really have no idea. I guess a dumping zone literally wouldn't hurt. Um, we'll, put it, we'll just put it in this little alcove here. Clear all. Critical. Fecal sludge. Uh, just put all waste in there. Whatever. That, that seems fine by me. All right. Research is continuing. This is a big, big episode. Because not only are we going to get power, we've got plumbing too. What the hell am I going to do? What, what are we going to fill their time with after this? I guess obviously lots of research. Ooh, please don't collapse roof. I think we should be fine just at that size. But I'm going to make sure we remove it anyway. All right. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. Get rid of that too. Look at that. She's having herself a nice warm bath. 10 out of 10. What do you think? The mood. The mood is so high. Oh, it's in darkness. Okay, the power's gone out. Well, she was having a nice warm bath until the power went out. Not that that would make the water cold or anything, but uh, until it went pitch black in the room, I guess. Okay, floors. Let's get a little bit of wooden floor there. Man, I'm really, really happy about how this is going. To, to say that we've gone from losing repeatedly to a luxurious golden toilet house. Look at this. Look at these moods, my guy. This is 10 out of 10. Slept in the cold. Oh, really? Is it, is it too cold in the house? These these brownouts are actually hurting my eyes a lot. <laughs> the constant flashing is really not making life good, huh? All right. Um, researching hauling corn, and then he's probably going to go straight to bed. Let's call all this urgently hauled as well. Don't particularly want this corn rotting, rotting outside. To be fair, it's got 60 days of life on it. Rice has 40 days, so we should be good. Man. I, I honestly don't know how this has happened. How in, how in like the course of a few days we've gone from shit tier to absolutely incredible. I mean, it's not absolutely incredible, is it? But it is not only survivable, but fairly luxurious. Good defenses, not good power. Power is the one thing I'm really struggling with. And obviously, when we get batteries as well, we, we'll be good. Right, okay. Who volunteers to check out these cargo pods? Psychic Soothe. Randy. Randy, it's, it's too easy. It's too easy. You've given me so many resources. You need to stop. My god, this is why I was kind of a little apprehensive to go for Randy Random, because it's going to give us this false sense of uh, optimism, and then it's probably going to... Uh, RPG grenades, yeah? Sure. Um, we've got so we got ourselves some nice rocket-propelled grenades there. Well, they'll come in handy at some stage, I'm sure. We took them like stick grenades. Will that work? A nearby settlement. Obviously, it won't. A nearby settlement, Krias, has contacted you. The fields have yielded far more than usual. Um, so we can go and help them out. It will take up a colonist, but basically a colonist will stay there for a couple of days, help them with their harvest, but in turn it will give us, um, I believe it's just opinion. So if you're looking to increase opinion in a cheap and easy way and have a spare manpower, it's good to do. For us, not really worth it. Not Definitely not worth it yet. Man, look at all of those corns. Look at all those chickens. That's a lot of corn. Can we start building like, um, we can't start cooking fine meals yet, can we? Uh, we need meats and animal products for that. I'm going to put it on the list, even though I don't think we're going to be able to fulfill it unless we go out hunting. So, we won't worry about it too much if we can't do it. It's five. There we go. All right. Perfect. Nice. Job's got such a nice... What do they think of their bathroom? Do they have a decent opinion of the bathroom, seeing it's got a frigging golden toilet? Um, decent bedroom. Quite comfortable. Got some love and low expectations. Slept in the cold. That's one thing I actually need to resolve now. Then. So, a heater? Man, I want to get this research done first, because we really don't have the power for this much stuff. But, uh, why the hell not? Okay, let's... um. Go ahead and finish this crafting, and then prioritize crafting. Let's get this done, and then let's get rid of this crafting spot, so we can put a heater there instead. We also need to uh, replant the flower in their bedroom, so they get a better mood of it. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to... We can't reinstall those, because they are just, you know, crafting spots. All right, let's put one there. Uh, bills, copy all, cancel this one, and then go... Oh. All right, turns out you actually need to keep them around. They don't just save on a clipboard or anything. That's fine. Doesn't matter too much. Get himself a nice hot bath. This is nuts. Look at how much of a good mood they're in. It's too easy now. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. We're going to end the series here. It's, it's literally too easy. That's where Randy's going to send the world's biggest raid, isn't he? <laughs> He's going to hear me talking about him. Just send it all in. What is that? 
I was just have oh it's fecal sludge, but it's in uh it's in the fog, so we can't quite see it. I understand. Come on, you've got to get this research done, my guy. We seriously need batteries and windmills as soon as possible. And honestly, he's doing a very, very good job with it. Microelectronics, big fan of that. The way it makes it sound is that we also need why's he doing that? Why are you doing that? Oh, it seems to sh like what does that imply? That there's no water in it? Now, the one thing I'm concerned about is we've got untreated water. It says small disease risk. So I think one thing we should... Oh, God, the freezer is way too full. One thing we need to work on in the future, then, is uh, definitely probably getting a little bit more of water treatment going. Doing a little bit of research into water treatment, seeing if there's a way to make it... So they're not going to get a disease risk from, obviously, drinking water. Because that would really, really suck. Like, that would be horrible if uh, if we got something from something so simple and so necessary as well. Right, let's get a little bit more wood and expand out the... Nope. <laughs> and expand out the freezer if you don't mind. I don't particularly want them leaving stuff in the kitchen if we can avoid it. Why do something so brave yet so stupid? Oh, every time. Every time he insists on crossing the river to build something that... I mean, if we knock down all of these walls, with the walls, with the extra wood that we've got just lying around, we should be able to... That should be enough, right? Fingers crossed, anyway. This is awesome. A little bit of recreation time. Marriage is on. Are you kidding me? Well, there we go. <laughs> We're sat in this dark room. There's vomit at the door. We've eaten nothing but rice, but we have a golden toilet, and I think that is enough for a lifelong commitment. You know what? They're surviving together, and I feel like that would bring two people closer, wouldn't it? Uh, marriage spot. I guess just get married at the end of the bed. Either that or they're just going in the freezer in the bathroom next to the golden toilet of power. No. You shall marry in front of the eyes of the true lord of this colony. The golden toilet. <laughs> what, what day is it right now? Uh, days past its arrival. 30. We've almost lasted a month. Day 30. Jill number 7 seems to be worshipping some sort of golden toilet. <laughs> this campaign is so dumb. What am I doing with my life? Feeling happy. You don't say. Look at this. I've never seen... This mood is insane. Slept in the cold. That's the only thing we've got to deal with right now. And they are extremely happy all the time. Initial optimism is also gone. Worth pointing out there. Extremely comfortable opinion. My lover's psych psychic soothe is also helping out a lot. Um, very low expectations. So the richer we get, obviously, the more that's going to drop. But if we keep building luxuries... Uh, bleh, uh, bleh. Okay. That's not good. Drain tank. Okay. We should be good now, then. So basically, we lose all of our water. But it's not such a big deal when you've only got two people. Obviously, if you had a whole colony, draining all that water at once would have been horrible. But seeing as we've only got two people, it's not such a big deal. Because that can almost pump all the water they'll need in the course of a few seconds. Right, let's get this expanded. We also need a little bit more... Probably a few more coolers, don't we? The issue with that is... Um, I mean, quite simple. The issue with that is that we don't have... <laughs> we don't have enough power. How is the power looking right now? You know what? It's good. It's good. It's holding up strong. This past few days has been holding up strong. Let's... Um... Black Hive attack. Huh. Well, suddenly my initial optimism is now initial, oh god, we're gonna die. Um, she's got 45 Plasteel Arrows. I don't like the idea of wasting Plasteel Arrows on bogs, but let's go for it. Okay, go squad. We've got visitors as well. They might help out a little bit. Oh god, here they are. F uh, actually open fire though. What the fuck? Horrible. Come on. Come on, come on, move over, move over. Okay. They're going after the visitors. Or it's... Yeah, they are. They are actually going after the visitors. Okay, we're fine. What are you shooting at? Shoot to Help your fiancé. Nice. Okay, there's one down. Oh, man, a black hive attack this early on is not nice. Thanks, Randy. Appreciate you. So the black hive are insects, but... Like, like the base game insects, but just stronger in every way. Uh, just go stand here. Pick a direction to run, little piggy. What a strange thing to say. Don't shoot. Oh, God, don't shoot. Please, 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 please. Don't shoot the allies. They are friends. Unless we let them die. <laughs> Unless we let them die. Yes. Good, Jill. No, 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 no. Just just go back to your business. You know what? They're, oh, they're going to take it out. That's a little bit of a shame. Maybe he'll bleed out. Hey, look, you're going to bleed out. Death in nine hours. That's good. Um, Or death in 22 hours. Should we just kill them all? Should we kill them all and steal what they've got? Well, well let's see what if they've got anything worth stealing. Okay. Oh, they are self-tending, though. That's kind of annoying. All right, let's not, wor let's not worry about it. I'm being a little bit ambitious. Oh, they've got guns. They've got guns. Lee Enfield. Um, 382. See, if we bought that, both characters would then have a gun. So I'm absolutely going to do it. Um, 
They've also got flak pants, which would be very useful. I'm going to buy them both. We're going to sell them a little bit of component. We've got to be careful with this, because I don't want to waste too many components here, just on trades. Okay, so both colonists now have a gun. When we can craft ammo, this is going to be huge, I think, because, you know, we've, we've, we've sort of cut out the middleman there. Oh my god, it also counts the excellent quality with art. The work's infused with an idea of camaraderie, and it's done in a graffiti-like style. It just says bros on it in spray paint. All right, let's 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 get it done. Nice. Okay, uh, kill him. No, actually, uh, kill him now. All right, take them out. We shouldn't. It's not the jump way. The jump way is worshipping a golden toilet and also vomiting all over your house, literally on every flat surface. Do you actually want to go put these on? Because he's wearing just the tribal wear. So if we put that on, he could wear a shirt maybe instead? Oh, you know what? He's got his jacket. Hey, there we go. Nice. Okay. That's, that's better. I think that's a clothes upgrade, isn't it? And now these people are just eating their meals in our house. Get out. Oh, God, Lucas. Are you okay? Do you actually want to just, like, go rest so we can... Why won't she bed rest? Who shot her with a British bullet? Like, why won't she rest? Please, please rest. Okay, medical bed. Please rest. There we go. Um, hey, you might want to tend to your fiancé who's actually dying of a bullet wound. Um, oh, take your time. Don't worry about it. Medicine? Go grab that medicine. Let's cut out the middleman here. Okay, come on, come on. Go, go. By the time she's got into the friggin' bed, he's probably gonna have it anyway. Low medicine! Shut up! Okay, uh, gear. Drop the medicine. And untick. Tend. We're fine. Nothing to worry about, team. Nothing to worry about. She's got those 16 components in her goddamn backpack. Okay, quality was 75%. You you absolutely incredible, man. Okay, there we go. Um, You might also want to, you know, like I said, drop all of this crap in your backpack. There we go. Get rid of these. She's got a simple meal. That's fine. Get rid of the silver. Nice. Well, that was, um, for a second there, not looking particularly good, huh? Damn, Black Hive attack. So the good thing about the Black Hives is they actually do leave behind. Oh, when you're done with that, actually go and finish off these animals before they heal. Oh, God, I hope that one bled out and just stand back up. Oh, no, wait, it's over there now? Yeah, there it is. Finish off. It must have stood back up and they must have opened fire at it again, I think. Okay, visitors are leaving. I bet you guys had a lovely time, didn't you? Sorry about shooting you and all that. Okay, let's get these hold as well. These plastic arrows seem fairly useful. So the thing about the black hive is they leave behind black hives, which in turn leave behind black jelly. Black jelly gives a mood boost. Similar to regular insect jelly, but it's better. It's essentially an improvement on it. Butchering insects. Uh, I thought that was a no. I thought I said no to that. Oh, shit, no. Don't actually do that if you don't mind. Thank you. Well, that was looking a bit spotty there at the end. Um, seeing as apparently she was shot by our allies. But we've got two guns, which is obviously fantastic. We've got a very fan fancy bathroom with a golden toilet. The research is almost done. I know I say this every single episode. We are definitely, definitely getting that water mill generator next time. Unless everybody dies. That's the only situation where we wouldn't get this water mill generator. We've got freezer expansion. We've got no power. <laughs> but besides that, things are looking pretty fantastic. Thank you all for watching. Again, I apologize about the first five minutes being cut out there. But I think we've, uh, I think we've done Jill and Lucas some justice. The marriage is on. Will they live to get married? Or will they both be horribly killed by an insect hive? I don't know, but let's find out together. A big thank you to Harik, Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyal, Sidini, Conspiracy, Croesus, Escape, Fukuna Vasquez, Haydog, Jimbo, Jocelyn Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Necrofillin, Powers Presley, Sean Thornton, Smirtworm, Tom Terror 18, Vacuous Backus, Wolfsen, and Zazzy 7011. For their support at the Insanity Lovers on Patreon, thank you very much for keeping the channel alive. Thank you very much for your support and for having faith in this YouTube journey. And a thank you as well should definitely go to my good friends. Gray, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Llewellyn Thomas, Asaro, Batmus Max, Chris, Crazy Pat, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 2 and 7, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Haji Dumar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, Icy the Great, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Yoran DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Nathan Flores, Matthew, Nick, Panther Pearl, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, Sir Thor the Swede, Wolfie, Zico, Adam Person, Sidini, Fraser Brennan, Noah Gallimore, and the Insane Pickle.